the ship, requires a pilot, before entering the port. Here, you will see, that the pilot boat, approach our ship. The pilot, move faster, in climbing the pilot ladder. As soon, as he boarded, the pilot boat, move out our way. In some cases, the captain receives, a pilot exemption certificate. To avail this exemption, you must have, an experience of bringing the ship, to that port, for a certain number of times. On this footage, we are on our way, to Tangier port, container terminal of Morocco. Our vessel, is refueling ship, before their way, for long voyage. In maritime term, they call our ship, bunkering vessel. As you could see, we are now, approaching, the breakwater. The weather, is not so good, so there is not much sunlight. The water current, in this area, is very strong, so our vessel moves at a speed of 10 knots. The pilot, only reduces speed, when already, near the entrance, to the port. This is now, the entrance, to the Tangier, container terminal. Our customer, is under the company, of Maersk Line. Their ship, is already inside the port. So we will proceed to them, and carry out ship to ship operation. Ship to ship operation, is the transfer of cargo, between, seagoing ships, positioned alongside, each other, while stationary, or underway. This is the view, of the breakwater, at closer area. Most of the ship, on this port, are container vessel. We already reduce, our speed. Ahead of us, are the container ships. Before we heave up our anchor, a radio communication, already established to another vessel. This is to alert them to prepare their crew, to receive our ropes for ship-to-ship -ship operation. This is the steering gear. It is powered by a hydraulic motor. The main function of this equipment, is to move the rudder. Port or starboard. Steering wheel, located at bridge, turn the ship. Powered by hydraulic. The number graduation, you are seeing, is the rudder degree, being turned. The maximum degree, that is allowed, in the rudder, is 35 degrees port or starboard. In other term we call it, hard port or hard starboard. This is, the hydraulic, motor. It give power, to the rudder to turn. Here, you can see, it's turning to the other side. Ahead of us, are the container ship, already in port. The tall posts, that you are seeing, is called, container cranes. That is the pilot boat, waiting for him to go down once completed. On our port side, is the container ship, that we will refuel. This is the engine control room. Here, the engineers, are monitoring the engine, movements and parameters. This is the telegraph. 
The engine follow the command from here. Either ahead or astern. The engine have four speed settings. Dead slow ahead. Slow ahead. Half ahead. And full ahead. For the ship to go backward. There are also four settings. Dead slow astern. Slow astern. Half astern. And full astern. Our ship, already secured, to other vessel. Big ropes, are used to secure the ship. We call this mooring lines. To protect both ships, from damage to metal. We have a fender. It acts as bumper, to absorb, the kinetic energy of a boat, or vessel. Cargo hose, are now connected, to both ships. Ready for pumping fuel. The cargo hose, is already connected, to receiving vessel. We called this, cargo manifold. It is the location, where loading, and discharging, take place. This is, the cargo engine. This is driving, the shaft, to run the pump. This shaft, is connected, to the pump room. The brand of this engine, is Cummins engine. The same engine, that we have, for diesel generator. Inside the pump room, this is the cargo pump. This is driven, by the cargo engine, you saw a while ago. On top of the cargo pump, is the pipe, leading to deck. We call this, outlet pipe, or discharge pipe. This is the shaft, connected from the driving engine, 